I'm Dr. Mark Galchi, and I want to put together this small video to introduce you to India, what India has to offer, what your living quarters will be like, if you decide to come here, what you can expect. My personal experience has been transformative to say the least. I have enjoyed myself immensely. I have learned and grown so much in just my small time here. Every time I go to a different culture and live in a different place, what it does is it, it, it expands your soul. And that's really what it does. It takes whatever you thought was real, whatever you thought was true, and it destroys it. And it replaces it with something else. I'll give you a really small example, but something that's very significant. In the United States, when people honk their horn, it has a kind of an aggressive feel to it, and you respond kind of aggressively. Here, everybody honks all day long. In fact, they run in the back of their buses and trucks, honk, please, or okay to honk. And that's because they, they honk as a warning system to everybody back and forth. Now, I had never seen that before. In Jamaica, I saw something a little similar to it, but it, was, it wasn't the same frequency of honking. It was more of a different type of driving communication, where in the United States, we have a much more individualistic culture, so we're not as communal. And other cultures are not like that. They're much more communal and they much more look out for one another. It's a group effort versus just standing alone and being by yourself. And while it's a small little example, it's transformative enough that it changes the way I see the world. If you've ever had the pleasure of traveling, you'll know that whatever cultural concepts that are accurate for you in your world, in your community, are only accurate for your world in your community there. They're not true in other places. The house that we're staying in is beautiful. It's beyond amazing. I'm walking to work. I'm learning how to take the rickshaws. And just mixing in the community has been such a joy. I happen to go on my way to work every day and get a coconut. And that's kind of my morning routine right now. So I'm learning the local restaurants and places to eat and get my hair cut and have my laundry done. Let me walk you through the clinic here in Surat, India. The clinic's small, it's clean, it's nice, it's beautiful, it's simple. It has a deep compression table in it, which is great to use with patients. Seeing patients, it's very nice to have a translator and people assist you, uh, especially if you don't speak Hindi or any of the local tongues. So, Having to navigate sometimes mentally, psychologically, and maybe even spiritually to feel what's taking place within a patient in the sense of what they're trying to communicate. Because sometimes you're limited with your hand gestures and your social norms. Sometimes your translator doesn't even know how to properly communicate things. So if you're new, and chances are you will be, that's okay. It's a part of your growth process and it's something that will benefit you in the future because as you gain more experience as a practitioner, life becomes easier. When you move into different cultures and different places, the ability to navigate social settings becomes much easier. And your confidence grows as you have more experiences. With experiences, sometimes comes a failure. Sometimes things don't always work out the way they're supposed to. And that's okay. It's a part of the growth process. I happen to like the building that we're in and getting to know all our neighbors. So that's been a lot of fun for me. There's a great gym across the street that if you decide to work out, is very accommodating. I would tell you to bring two sets of shoes. You take off your street shoes outside and you put on a different set of shoes when you go into the gym. One of the things as a foreigner here that is very apparent to me is how much I stand out. Now I kind of have Middle Eastern ancestry. I look a little darker. I'm not your traditional white American. But here I stand out enough that people approach me on the streets and ask me if they want to hang out, if I want to go to dinner. I want to preface this next scene I'm going to show you. My sister taught me there are three ways to travel. One is with a group, like in the military or a mission, church group. Second is with a companion. And the third is by yourself. Yes. And if you travel by yourself, you get the opportunity to meet new people. And so the dinner you're about to see is with a new friend. We are taking from China, Doctor. So because that is banned in India. The color is banned in India. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because environment problems. Ah. That's a big deal. 
I, I teach environmental classes. So that's kind of an interesting experience when you go into places and everybody, everybody stares at you. You're different. So just kind of expect that. Um, it's nothing to be frightened of. It's just the reality. I'm learning to read the head nods that they do. So this is a yes. It's a, it's a bobbing of the head. So a lot of patients will do this to me when I'm talking to them. I'll ask them how they're doing and they'll do this thing. And I, I, at the beginning, I thought it was after an adjustment. I thought they were just kind of stretching their neck. But I've come to understand that's their communication. We live next to a Shiva temple. So the cows from that temple are walked every morning around 5 a.m., 5 to 6 a.m. So if you'd like to jog in the morning, which I do, um, I'll jog by all these cows that are outside. Come with an open mind, come with an open heart, and know this, that whatever time you spend here, it will transform your soul. That's the most important thing I think I can communicate. The first time I worked outside of the United States was in Ghana, Africa. I spent six months there. I came back a different human being. There's no way you can not evolve and change. You will transform in a very different, soul-expanding way that I cannot communicate in words. It's something you'll have to experience. I invite you personally to come to India and spend some time here. I find that Dr. Patel is very generous, kind and warm. I hope you take the opportunity to come to India and help treat the people here.